Hey everyone, I wanted to um, talk to you guys and tell you what I'm bringing to the hospital for my double mastectomy that I'm having on Monday. Today is Wednesday, but I wanted to go ahead and pack my bag and I thought, why not film it? Um, so other people going through mastectomy surgery will have an idea of what to take. And I'm gonna put links in the description area on YouTube so that you will have quick links to shop on Amazon or wherever. I purchase these items. They said, you know, that the hospital rooms can be chilly um, and to bring a blanket. So I have this cute pink um, Sherpa blanket that I'm going to bring um, just in case it gets cold. I know um, I recently picked up a friend from, um, she had an outpatient surgery and they only had like sort of like flannel sheets as blankets so anyhow I'm bringing this just to be on the safe side comfy socks um, you know the hospital might be cold and I got some at Target and they have like a non-slip grippies on the bottom so that way if I get up to use the restroom you know I won't um, slide and trip and fall um, and these are these wonderful um, hoodies and so I'll probably wear this home from the hospital they just zip up have a hood they're really thin which is good for summertime they're more of like a t-shirt material and each side has two little pockets to hold the drains I don't know if I'm gonna have two drains on each side or one drain on each side but this way I'll be prepared and um, can just zip it up without having to put anything on over my head um, because apparently we're not really going to be able to put on clothing that goes over our head for a while and I will need things that zip or button up. So anyhow, I have this with um, a long sleeve and then I also have a short sleeve version, which I'll show you. Um, so anyhow, I'll just wear these probably just with the medical bra that they give me underneath and just zip it up and just kind of wear it like a t-shirt. And then um, to sleep, I'm bringing just like a airplane um, travel pillow. And I'm also bringing my favorite sleep mask that I can't sleep without and some earplugs for me and my mom so that we can hopefully get a good night's rest, even though nurses are gonna be checking in on me a lot and things like that. So I thought that that would be important to have. And then also to help me sleep, I'm gonna bring um, this. It's called, it's by the company called This Works and it's called Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. And it smells like lavender, maybe a little patchouli oil, um, but it's, it's, it's nice. So it's sort of aromatherapy and it's supposed to help you fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed, so. Who doesn't want that? So oh, I'm gonna bring that. And then to um, be able to communicate with everybody and um, maybe I'll even film some videos at the hospital. Got my reading glasses. I'll bring my phone. I've got this charger. It's one of the Amazon essentials, I think. And I like these woven cords better than the white plastic ones that tend to sort of crack and then mess up. So anyhow, I'm going to bring that. And then I'm bringing lip balm and wanted to share some of my favorites. So I love this Eos coconut. And then these from Nivea are amazing. This one is olive oil and lemon. And this one is peaches. So I love those. And then one of my really sweet clients got me some um, Lux lip balm from um, Sarah Happ. And it kind of has like a rose water um, scent to it. And it's just so rich and creamy and smooth and silky and I adore it. So anyhow, I'm gonna bring those. And then speaking of rose, um, I'm also gonna bring this rose water spray that I'm gonna use cotton balls to sort of um, cleanse my face. But yeah, it smells just like rose petals. So I adore this stuff. It's made by, um, heritage store. I just get it on Amazon. You can also find it at Whole Foods. I think that's where I found it for the first time. 
Then, of course, I'm going to bring my Listerine and my toothbrush and um, toothpaste. And the thing that's important to do is to use a travel toothbrush and throw it away after you leave the hospital or just throw it away there at the hospital because you don't want to bring hospital bacteria home. So, anyhow. Um, and then I'm also going to be bringing some um, Purell. I don't want <laughs> to pick up any germs. And then um, in case my throat is sore from having the breathing tube down my throat, I'm bringing some chloroseptic and some um, cough drops just in case. And then um, this is very important. I'm gonna be bringing a water bottle because apparently I won't be able to really drink much before surgery. I think they cut it off at like, I don't know, maybe, Food is cut off at midnight, and then I can only have like clear liquids up until, I don't know, 6 a.m. or something like that, or 8 a.m. So anyhow, I have to read the instructions and find out, but um, it's important to have a water bottle that has a straw, like this one from Camelback, because after your surgery, you're not gonna be able to just tilt it back to drink, because that involves raising your right arm or your left arm, and I'm gonna be having my um, lymph nodes tested. So they're gonna be doing a lymph node dissection and testing to see if the cancer has spread to my lymph nodes. So anyhow, it'll be easier just to have a straw. So that's important. And I think that's it, you guys. Did I mention that um, you need to bring a driver's license, your insurance card, your medical power of attorney, and then also a living will should something happen to you because things do happen, um, but hopefully not. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.